first started with the Schrodinger equation in 1D, the Cartesian Laplacian with the spherical Laplacian, which is much, much worse than human eyes could have ever imagined. This side is time dependent, this side is space dependent.
Now, we're also dealing with a radial coordinate, which is not just three. So, we have 1 over r squared, partial r, r squared, partial r, psi, plus 1 over r squared, which is sine theta, partial of theta, I am mixing up the symbols here, sine theta, partial theta, psi, plus 1 over r squared sine squared theta, partial psi squared, partial phi squared psi. Um, now this just gets confusing. This is going to be hard if I do this. Oh god, what do we do? Well, it looks like we'll have to try the classic separation of there is absolutely no other way we're getting past this. But the separation of variables was the only way we got past that, so I mean, what's the risk in finding <laughs> So, we just have to split psi into a total of four different functions. Psi 1 of r, psi 2 of theta, psi 3 of phi, psi 4 of p. What happened? Well, if we plug this in, we get minus i h bar psi 4 prime of t, psi 1, psi 2, psi 3 is equal to h bar squared over 2 pi, 1 over r squared psi of uh, partial r of r squared psi. 1 multiplied by all of the other constants, psi 2, psi 3, psi 4. And what is this going to be at the end of the day? Well, this is going to be by the product rule 2r psi 1 plus r squared psi 1 prime. And so we can actually do that. So then you add that to 1 over r squared sine theta, partial theta of sine theta, partial theta psi, which once again we factor out all the non-theta dependent terms. And remember, this is still a very naive assumption back to this point. Given that there are now four dimensions, the likelihood is decreasing by the second, or by the dimension, that we can decompose anything like this. But, as it turned out in the one-dimensional case, that separation of variables, valid functions, were the only ones that solved this Schrodinger equation. These will turn out to be very viable too, very, very soon. Oh boy, back to the torture. So you get plus 1 over r squared sine squared theta. Partial psi squared, which is just going to be... What's this going to be? Um, psi 2 cosine theta plus psi 2 prime sine theta. And what's going to be this term? Well, I mean, it's actually fairly simple. We don't have to use the product rule, thank goodness. And that's going to give us psi 3 double prime, psi 1, psi 2, psi 3, plus mu of r, psi 1, psi 2, psi 3, psi 4. Oh boy, oh boy. All right, so what do we do here? Well, I mean, the tried and true I search. Can you turn on the light? Sure. I have the on the well, the tried and true strategy is just dividing through by psi. So what happens if we do that? Well, thankfully, we get something totally dependent on time on the right. Which is good. Because that means that if nothing on the left, sorry, on the left, if nothing on the right is time dependent, then we get an easy solution for this side. Now the other side is left of this cube. We get h bar square over 2 pi times, um, this is, oh, no, that's a cube. Um, you get, oh boy, um, 1 over r, 2. 2 over r plus 
thigh one prime over side one. I think that's correct. Yeah, that sounds good. Plus whatever this is, which is going to be one over r squared sine theta, so we get cosine theta over r squared sine theta plus sine two prime over sine two sine theta. And then plus whatever this term is, which is going to be psi 3 pi prime over r squared sine theta squared theta psi 3 plus u of r. Oh, would you look at that? This side is dependent on time, and this side is dependent on space. That which is going to change no matter how many dimensions we add. And so, that means that since this is dependent on one variable, and this is dependent on a variable that's not that one variable, these both have to be constant. Hooray! That means that we can solve this the same exact way we solved this part of the equation in single variable, or 1D space. This is just going to be e to the minus i h bar, some energy state, multiplied by time. Now, if you want to know how to solve this part, well, I think that's going to be something.